Hello everyone. Hope you all doing well and welcome back to Windows Server 2022 beginners video series on MSFT webcast. In this video, we will see the steps on how to configure a roaming profiles for Active Directory user accounts in Windows Server 2022. Roaming profiles are a Windows feature that allows user profiles to be used across multiple workstations within a network. Windows maintains a profile for each user who logs into the operating system. A user profile contains personalized application settings, desktop configurations, application preferences, and other user-specific data. With Rooming Profile, user's profile data is typically saved on a central file share on the corporate network. Remember, the default path for user's local profile is C colon slash users. Roaming profile is especially useful in environments where users regularly switch between different computers or locations. Use folder redirection to store user files such as documents and downloads outside of user profiles. This enables the same files to be available to users across operating system versions. It also keeps profiles small and sign-ins quick. In this video, I'll show you how to deploy a roaming user profiles in Windows environment so that users have the same experience when logging into any computer in our domain. For this demo, we have two VMs running in Oracle VM VirtualBox. This is a Windows Server 2022 domain controller for msftwebcast.com domain. We have another Windows 10 client VM. Log on to a Windows Server 2022 domain controller using a domain administrator account. In the first step, we will create a roaming user profile security group. From the server manager's tool menu, open Active Directory users and computers. Right click the appropriate domain or OU, select new, and then select group. In the group name, type the name of the security group which you want to create. For example, roaming profiles users. In the group type, select security and then select global in group scope. Click OK to create a new security group. The security group has been created successfully. Right click the newly created group and select properties. Go to members tab. Click on Add. Type the name of the users, groups, or computers to which you want to deploy roaming user profiles. Type Deepak. Click on Check Names. Click OK. Again, click on Add to add our another user. So we have added two users, Abdul Samad and Deepak Patil, to this security group. Click on Apply and OK. If you don't already have a separate file share for roaming user profiles, then you have to create a file share on your Windows server. In second step, we will create a new shared folder to store roaming profile data. In our test environment, I'm going to create a shared folder on our domain controller. If you have dedicated file server in your network, then create a shared folder on your file server. In server manager, select file and storage services and then select shares. Select task and then select new share. The new share result appears. On the select profile page, select SMB share quick profile. Click next. On the share locations page, select server and volume on which you want to create this share. Choose type a custom path and click on browse. Create a new folder. Type a meaningful name for this folder. For example, profiles. Select the folder, confirm the path, see colon slash profiles. Click next to continue. Type a name for the share in the share name box. We will put dollar sign at the end of the share name to hide the shared folder. Click next. Clear the allow catching of the share checkbox. Optionally, select the enable access based enumeration checkbox. This enables users to only see folders and files that they have access to. Click Next to continue. Click on Customize Permissions. 
click on disable inheritance and then select convert inherited permissions into explicit permissions on this object remove both users entries click on add click on select a principal type uh, roaming and click on check names we can see a roaming profile users group is now selected click ok type is allow and change the applies to to this folder only click on show advanced permissions assign create folders and append data permission click ok so this is the required ntfs permission which we have to configure for the shared folder click apply and ok now click next to continue on the confirmation page select create the shared folder created successfully click close to close the window we can confirm that the shared folder is successfully created on our domain controller now you can create a gpu which allows you to configure settings such as primary computer support and can also be used to enable roaming user profiles on computers as is typically done when deploying in virtualized desktop environments or with remote desktop services but in this video we will set up roaming user profiles on user accounts from their properties go back to active directory users and computers navigate to the ou where you have stored your user accounts in our case it is under hr users ou select all users to which you want to assign a roaming user profile in our case i'll select abdul samad and deepak patel right click the users and then select properties go to profile tab select the profile path checkbox and then enter the path to the file share where you want to store the users roaming profile data in our example the shared folder path is double slash ws2022 hyphen dc01.msft webcast.com slash profiles remember we have created hidden share so we have to put dollar at the end of the share name and then followed by a percentile username percentile this will automatically replace with the user logon name the first time the user signs in click on apply and okay to save the changes you have to double check that you have entered the correct shared folder path roaming profile is now enabled and active for this two active directory user accounts in our ad domain right click the user account deepak patel and select properties click on profile tab check the profile path we can confirm that the user's logon name is added after the shared folder path user roaming profile is configured and now onwards user's profile data will be stored under the configured shared folder but there is one problem you cannot access the user's roaming profile data even if you are domain administrator if you want to access this folder then you have to take ownership of each folder and grant yourself access to every subfolder inside the parent folder there are multiple options to fix this issue you can use powershell script to grant roaming profiles access to administrator in this video we will create a gpu to add administrator security group to roaming user profile see this step is totally optional as an administrator if you don't want to access users roaming profile data then there is no need to go through this steps but as an administrator i want to access users roaming profile data and that's why i want to add administrator security group to roaming user profiles so i can access the users roaming profile data which is stored on our shared folder so let's create and configure gpu on sa manager click on tools and select your policy management to open gpmc console expand your domain name and expand group policy objects right click on group policy objects and select new in the new gpu dialog box enter the name for this new gpu i have given name add admin group to roaming profile click okay to create the gpu 
Right click the newly created GPO and select to add it to open Group Policy Management Editor window. In Group Policy Management Editor, go to Computer Configuration, Expand Policies, Administrative Templates, System and find User Profile. Double click Add the Administrator Security Group to Roaming User Profiles. This policy setting adds the Administrator Security Group to the Roaming User Profile Share. Choose Enabled Radio button. Save changes by clicking Apply and then click OK. That's it. This is the single setting which we need to configure. Close Group Policy Management Editor. Next, we need to link the new GPO with the OU that contains the computer account where users configured with the roaming profile will logged in. Go back to Active Directory Users and Computers. We have stored the Windows 10 computer account under the OU name HR Computers. We will link the GPO to this OU. Go back to GPMC. Right click HR Computers OU and select Link an existing GPO. Select the GPO which we created earlier, uh, which is Add Admin Group to Roaming Profile. Click OK to link this GPO to our OU HR Computers. We can confirm that the GPO has been successfully linked with our OU HR Computers and thus configured settings from this GPO will apply on our Windows 10 computer. This GPO will add the Administrative Security Group to Roaming User Profile Shared Folder. This way, Domain Administrator can access the Roaming Profile folder locally on Domain Controller. To test Roaming User Profiles, sign into a computer with a user account configured for Roaming User Profiles and then confirm that the profile is redirected. Let's go to our Windows 10 computer to test the result. This is our Windows 10 client computer. This VM is joined to our Active Directory domain. On this computer, we have already logged in using the account of Deepak Patel. Open Run menu, type CMD and hit Enter key to open Command Prompt. First, I'm going to type Command GP Update slash Force and hit Enter key to manually update the group policy settings on this Windows 10 computer. Updated group policy settings applied successfully on this computer. We have to restart this computer in order to apply the group policy settings because computer based settings only apply during the computer start or reboot. Unlock the Windows 10 and sign into this computer using the Deepak Patel's user account and password. We are in Windows 10. Create a folder on desktop. Now again log off from this Windows 10 computer. Log in again to this Windows 10 computer using Deepak Patel's user account. Open Run menu. Type UNC path ws 2022 dc slash profiles and put dollar at the end of the share name. Hit Enter key to access the shared folder. Here we can see we have users roaming profile folder named deepak.p.v6. Deepak.p is the user's logon name and .v6 represent OS version information. Profile version 6 is for Windows 10 versions 1607 and later operating system. Access the folder. Here we can see all user profiles folder. Access the desktop. And we can see the folder which we have created on desktop. Let me delete this folder. Okay, we have deleted the folder from our roaming profile. But on our desktop, still the folder is there. Uh, let me close this. Now go back to our domain controller. Open File Explorer. Access C drive. Open Profiles folder. Here we can see the users profile folder. Uh, since we have added Administrator Security Group to Roaming User Profiles folder, Administrator can access the folder. Let's double click on it. Perfect. Okay, there's a no folder with the name Taste. So we can confirm that Administrator can successfully access the Users Roaming Profile folder. Go back to Windows 10 computer. Open Run menu. 
type uh, sysdm.cpl and hit enter key. This will ask for administrator username and password as standard domain user account does not have access to the settings. Type domain administrator's username and password and click on yes. Go to advanced tab. Under user profiles, click on settings. Check the user profile type for user Deepak Patel. It should be roaming as we have configured roaming user profile for this user account. That's all for this video on how to configure roaming user profiles for AD user accounts. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions and suggestions regarding this video, please let me know in the comments section. In the next video, we will configure mandatory user profile using the existing setup. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.